Learn more tomorrow about that ongoing cyber shutdown that's affecting city computer systems all over Augusta. From utilities to the courts, even the coroner's office, some operations are almost at a standstill and have been all week. Today, Mayor Garnett Johnson issued a statement denying any knowledge of a ransomware attack on the city. Taylor Martin live in our newsroom for us to shed a little light on the situation. Well, the city's been facing cybersecurity issues for about five days now, and today Mayor Johnson denied claims of a $50 million ransomware attack, reassuring everyone they're working diligently to investigate the outage. An authorized access to our system. That's the phrasing the city is using to explain what's shutting down computer access. It could mean that someone from the outside of your network has found a way to get into your network, uh, whether through hacking in or through potentially using someone else's credentials. The computer and cyber sciences professor at Augusta University also shared that access could also mean ransomware, preventing the city from using its own data, which the city has denied. There's other activities that they could do if they get into your network. They could just sit there and eavesdrop and continue to collect data without your knowledge. At this time, the city says they have not confirmed if any data has been compromised, but today many city services like the probate court and 311 were still dealing with the citywide issue, with signs up saying they're unable to service people due to technical difficulties. After a news outlet headline shared the city was being held hostage for $50 million in a ransomware attack, the mayor released another statement denying those allegations, saying the city will continue to investigate. And again, tomorrow afternoon at 2, the city is holding a news conference to give us an update on the cybersecurity concerns. And yeah, a lot of questions remain tonight about what is going on with the city computers. Taylor, thanks. Much